There's three tips about how to become a strategic thinker. A lot of people think, oh, I'm just not a strategic thinker and I'm not that big picture type. Strategic thinking really isn't that difficult. Strategic thinking is nothing more than putting a process in place and analyzing that process. So no matter how bad the process is, any process is better than no process. Because a process you can look at and find the weakest link of that process. So again, you know, getting through, you know, say you're making your cold calls and you're trying to get meetings. Well, what's the, so you, you call, you get through the gatekeeper, you leave voicemail messages, you get people on the phone, and what do you say? There's a process there. Now, you ask yourself, what's the weakest link of that process? Well, the hardest time I have is getting through gatekeepers. All right, so let's pull that piece down. Let's come up with a couple of solutions, a couple of ideas, whether they're good or bad, it doesn't matter, but let's come up with a couple of them and let's try them out. And then once we figure out what a solution to that is, let's plug it back into the process and see how it works. If it's still the weakest link, bring it down again, figure out a new strategy. But if something else now is the weakest link, now fo focus on that, pull that piece down, come up with some solutions and ideas around that, plug that back in, see how the process works. That's really all strategic thinking is, is taking the time to outline a process and then picking the components of that process that are the weakest links strategizing around this, plugging it in, seeing how it works. Because if you try and think of strategic thinking about this whole big thing, you're gonna drive yourself out of your mind. But if you can just think of this one piece and coming up with two or, two or three solutions for that one piece, plugging it in, strategic thinking ends up being pretty easy. Good luck and happy selling.